Hello Aquarius, I hope you're doing awesome today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading. Aquarius, if you are here, you're meant to be. It's for a reason. So let's find out why Aquarius. Who am I connecting with today? I want to do new love. Who's, who's coming in for you Aquarius? Let's take a look. For those of you who want to know, first card, we have let go of control issues. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like so harshly. Let go of control issues. <laughs> okay, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay, what else we got? We have new love. Okay, this exactly, exactly universe. That's what I asked for, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings or they're about to. Maybe you haven't met them yet. Okay, that could be like part of the control issues, like feeling like, you know, where the fuck is my person? We also have you deserve love here at the bottom. So you are lovable. So again, know that, believe it, trust it. The person that of your, of your dreams, I wanted to say, the person that you've been waiting for, the person that you want is coming in. Just know that you're lovable. Don't feel like you have to force it to happen. They're going to come to you. Okay, so what else? We have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So again, this kind of go about this more playfully, like let go of the control, thinking it has to happen a certain way, you know, feeling like you're running out of time or, you know, whatever the case might be. Just have this trust, know that you're worth it, know that it's coming. And possibly for some of you may have met this person already. But for others of you, maybe not. So let's take a look at who this might be. The first card is going to represent them, okay? How you might know who this is, all right? So, okay, too many cards. <laughs> so first card, how will Aquarius know who this is? We have the star, Aquarius. Well, they could be an Aquarius. They don't have to be, but... I want to say just brand new somebody who gives you hope again somebody i just heard somebody who breathes life into you which sounds a little dramatic but i mean maybe that's how you're gonna feel like it's like a breath of fresh air like somebody that you've always hoped to meet or a type of person that you always hope to meet and i just heard two peas in a pod so <laughs> you guys could be very alike so they may not necessarily be an aquarius but you just, you click like instantly. There's something about your personalities that just fit so perfectly. And you could be a lot alike. Okay, so how might you meet? We have the Two of Swords. Sometimes when I get cards like that, it's like the universe saying, you're not allowed to know. <laughs> but, you know, another message here, I am going to clarify these. But another message here could be that you could be at kind of a, a crossroads. You could have two different options um, whenever you meet this person. But that's one I need to clarify before I, I dive a bit deeper. Because like I said, sometimes when I get those a card like that, like it's almost like the universe is kind of hesitant to say too much. And maybe, you know, part of that could be because this is a general reading. You know, a lot of people might be watching this and I don't want to say one specific message and like fuck up somebody's path, you know? Like I don't want that karma, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to do my best with that when I clarify. I do offer personal reading, so you can email me at bananachipstarot at protonmail.com. Protonmail it's in the description because I totally but butchered it just then. But yeah, email me there. Um, but, you know, that way I can give better details if you're interested. So what else? We have the Nine of Wands. That's another one of those cards where it's like, you can only know so much. So I'm going to see what I can do. Because, you know, with the Star card, there's also that, that level of destiny, you know. And if you know too much... It can kind of ruin the surprise, you know, or it can kind of fuck up your path where, you know, if somebody gives you every detail, you'll be on the lookout for that constantly and you miss out on the lessons that you need to learn or the things that you need to experience before you meet this person. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So potential outcome. We have the seven of swords. So I feel like this card wants to come out too. We have strength, Leo energy. strength in the seven of swords it's going to feel like it's not a bad seven of swords it's like this feeling of like 
you getting away with something. <laughs> it's almost like feeling, I don't want to say it's you feel guilty for finding this person or coming across this person. I don't know how to explain it. It's like you, you feel like you're getting away with something or they might feel that way about you or both of you. It's like, holy shit, I really, I got this, I landed this person. <laughs> I better like, we better move this along fast before like they change their mind. Like, I don't know. <laughs> there's almost, it's like that kind of feeling. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna clarify because I'm, I'm especially curious about this two of swords and the nine of wands. Like, what is this mystery here? And I split the deck to shuffle at the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So, I want to say destiny, soulmate, someone you're meant to come across. So the star, let's start with the star. Why is, more details about them, who this might be, how you might know who this is. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have the Emperor, Aries energy. And I know it's an emperor, but it could be male or female. We do have the Queen of Wands here at the bottom, so they could be a fire sign. They could be an Aries, too. They don't have to be. But for whoever resonates with that, that's your message, okay? So, attraction, passion. The emperor with the Knight of Swords. It's like, whoever this is, they're not afraid to speak up. They're not afraid to speak their mind. Let's get more details. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Eight of Wands. They're not afraid to speak their mind. And there could be a bit of a crossroads here. You know, with the Eight of Cups, maybe they are walking away from something whenever they meet you, or you walking away, or you walking away from something whenever you meet them. And it's almost this feeling of like, whenever you come together, it's like, wow, the, the choice is obvious. And they're gonna say that they're gonna be honest this person's very straightforward okay i want to say like no filter they're not afraid to come off like an asshole <laughs> they're not afraid to like offend people because they're just they're honest and you know you know some some people don't really like <laughs> that kind of truthfulness but i mean that's a good thing right you don't want somebody who's just going to kiss your ass and tell you what you want to hear all the time right this person's gonna you know they're just going to tell you how it is and, and I'm not saying they're going to tell you anything bad, but they're just, they're very honest. If they like you, they're going to say it. If they want something with you, they're going to say it. So they, I do feel like they're going to kind of take control of the situation. Uh, they could be the one to initiate the relationship. They could be the one who says something first. <sighs> Let's get one more card on them. We have the Five of Swords. I get one more on that and then we have the empress okay taurus energy or blah, 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 i can't talk taurus energy um so we have the emperor and and the empress so divine counterpart what more can i say two peas in a pod like <laughs> And that Five of Swords, I'm a little confused by that Five of Swords. It could be something to do with like, you'll never, for somebody here, whenever you meet this person, they could be walking away or defeated when it comes to some other situation that they're dealing with. It could be a relationship. It could be, you know, anything. They could be at some kind of, like I said, some kind of crossroads themselves. Hmm. Which could which brings me back to what I said about the star card star card and like some kind of like destiny happening here and of course free will is always at play so it's like okay so what are you guys gonna do are you guys gonna choose to be together or you know you're gonna keep trying to fight a losing battle here with whatever you're dealing with but you know with as straightforward as this emperor energy is I feel like they they aren't going to second guess because the choice is obvious because that's another thing that's coming to mind the choice is obvious and you may feel that way too um but for some reason there is this like questioning it like wanting to make sure and i don't know i feel like that might be more so your energy rather than theirs but you know it could be both because it is like 
I want to say it could be a pretty big change, like walking away from a relationship that was possibly long term. <sighs> hmm. Or it could be like having to move to be together, and that's a pretty big step. And I don't really sense fear. It, more so on the emperor's side, okay? Whoever's the emperor, male or female, this is the person coming in. I don't really sense fear on their side. And if there is any kind of fear, it's like, you know, waiting on you, like wondering what, what you want, what are you going to do? Because they're not somebody who's going to, even though they're straightforward and like say how they feel, you know, what they want things to be, they're not going to put that pressure on you to like make a decision to be with them, you know, as much as they might like that or, or want that, you know. Anyway, let's look at this Two of Swords, how you might meet. So what is this? We have the Four of Cups. And we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Again, more of those cards where it's like, you can only know so much. And again, that sounds like a cop out, but you have to think of my side here too. When I'm doing a general reading, I can't pinpoint exactly. You know, I can give a general like idea but then I don't want to, you know, put someone on the wrong path and like, you know, that can come back on me in some way. Like, I don't want that. <laughs> so, um, but there is a need here to trust the process. You know, again, going back to let go of control issues, trust the process. You know, it, it doesn't have to look exactly the way you think it should look. So there could be a, a level of releasing the expectations of who this is, <laughs> of how you meet them, how you guys come together because it's all being handled in the background okay you don't need to figure everything out because i'm looking at this four of cups and there is a little bit of this feeling of stubbornness <laughs> and also it's i'm thinking you know watch out for the signs follow the signs follow your heart wherever your heart is directing you because that is some kind of higher guidance so don't ignore the signs I feel like for some of you, there's been something just kind of in your face, like something that you need to be doing. I don't know if it's like some new hobby group that you want to join or something like that, a new job you want to switch to, but there's something that's kind of been nagging at you, but you've been ignoring it or like possibly, a, you know, some kind of sign that keeps popping up and like the same song being played on the radio or in your head, just pay attention to like where you are and the things that you were thinking about, you know, if it's, a, if, if it's a song that keeps playing, you know, pay attention to where it keeps playing and the things you were thinking about around whenever it kept playing. And that's just an example of a song. It could be any other kind of sign. But there's something about paying attention to the signs and not ignoring them, not ignoring like these urges, because this could be somebody, there's some kind of higher guidance, okay, some kind of higher power guiding you together and for somebody here you're ignoring the signs you're not seeing the signs or you are seeing them you're feeling those urges to like you know do something but you're not doing it you know possibly because you're afraid or you feel like you're not good enough you know blah 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 all those excuses we tell ourselves but there's a message here of go for it because whatever that is it's leading you to this person okay so nine of wands why is this here we have the High Priestess, Pisces energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles. I wanna get one more. We have the Four of Swords. Also, again, there's this feeling of, it might feel like there's nothing happening in your life, nothing happening in your love life, but there's, there's a lot going on in the background that you don't realize. I don't know if this is like an ancestor or like a spirit guide or the universe working in your favor here. Hmm. But it looks like they've been working on it for a long time. And it's this feeling, you know, with this Four of Swords, pay attention to your dreams. You know, also with the High Priestess, Four of Swords, um, pay attention to your dreams. That could be another thing that you're, somebody here could be ignoring missing keep a dream journal um but it, there's also this message of 
waiting until waiting until you get to a certain place before it's right before like waiting for the energy to get to a certain place before it's right for the two of you to come together let me get another card on that we have the wheel of fortune yeah it some kind of balancing of the energy closing of a cycle So for some of you, if you're stuck on an X or something like that, it's time to let that go. So for some of you, that could be kind of holding you back. You, you know, that could be what the energy is kind of waiting for, for you to heal from that, to pull back from that. You know, that's just for some of you, not for everybody. We have the Three of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you have people on your side in the spirit realm that are guiding you, spirit guides. I just hear spirit guides, ancestors. That could be why, you know, with the High Priestess, the Four of Swords, there could be a lot of like energetic kind of healing happening in your sleep. And definitely messages, signs, something about watching the signs, not missing those signs. And not just like blowing them off as, you know, coincidence, oh, it doesn't mean anything. There's something there, okay? Or, like I said, it could just be an urge to like do something, some kind of new hobby, I don't know, just anything that you just keep ignoring, you just, eh, eh, I don't have time for that. You better make the time, okay? <laughs> okay, so, Strength, Seven of Swords, why is this here? We have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Two of Cups. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. I'll get one more. We have that Two of Swords again. <laughs> Can only know so much. Okay. Um, it's all about divine timing. You guys are gonna come together. There, there's a very heavy like spirituality aspect <laughs> to this, spiritualness to this. There's a lot going on in the background that you don't know or realize. And part of it is allowing it to happen. That could also be why, you know, the let go of control issues is there. Just allowing it, allowing them to help you. Again, you don't need to know the exact process. You don't need to know like, or you don't, it doesn't need to happen in a specific way. Just know that it's going to happen. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to have your faith in. And for some of you, there's some kind of cycle that needs to be closed out. It could be, you know, fully healing from an ex or like past traumas, whatever. And I mean, maybe we're not ever fully healed, but there is that, that level of detachment that like fully letting go, maybe do some kind of like, uh, detachment ceremony, unbinding ceremony. I don't know, cord cutting ceremony. If you believe in that kind of stuff, if you feel like that would help you. But the main message here is to know that there's something bigger guiding you here. Listen to those downloads, listen to that inner voice, listen to your inner, your intuition, the signs around you, pay attention. And I'm not sitting here telling you to just constantly look for every little thing and think it's a sign. <laughs> you know, it doesn't work that way. But. Um, but pay attention whenever those things pop up whenever you just get random thoughts downloads urges to do certain things listen to that even if you get a thought to like go to a restaurant that you've never been to before and you're like out of nowhere you're like huh i think i want to try that do it why not what's the worst that could happen okay you give them a one star review possibly i don't know that could be the worst that could happen <laughs> and that's more so bad on them not on you but um yeah divine timing the main message here again is just about trusting it this person's coming in emperor emperor empress two peas in a pod destiny and i feel like you know with that wheel of fortune what i said earlier and the crossroads i kind of feel like both of you 
could be cutting things out around the same time that you come together. So that could be another way you know who this is. Maybe they're going through a divorce, maybe they're moving, you know, something like that. Something has ended in their life, something has ended in your life. <sighs> but yeah, just trust the process. Trust the signs, trust the your intuition. And know that it's all leading you to where you want to be, whether it's a person, whether it's, you know, anything in life, really. So that is your reading today, Aquarius. If that resonated or if you just enjoyed it, leave some banana emojis in the comments below. And also, I asked Pisces this. I kind of want your opinion. I've been thinking about doing more signs on my channel, like either the rest of the zodiac or maybe just doing air signs and water signs or you know just keeping it pisces and aquarius i don't know i'm just curious what you guys think because i i'm here for you and obviously if i were to expand i would still do aquarius and pisces every time i upload so that's not going to change but i'm i don't know i'm just curious what you guys think and yeah i will go now i will talk to you soon bye